Hey everybody, this is Intuitive Anthony doing another social media video. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, um, the Cash App information is down on the screen. It will also be in the description box. It's dollar sign Anthony Young, capital A, capital Y, 1978. And to all of those who donated to the channel, I really, really appreciate it. It allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, guys, this video is for the chosen ones. The ones who have had to deal with narcissistic abuse and toxic siblings, family, friends, and people that were closest to you that you have now distancing yourself from and removing them out of your lives. What it comes down to, chosen ones, is that we have been loyal to the wrong people. See, because when you're young and they're telling you you're supposed to treat everybody like you want to be treated and that all people are basically good in nature, this is not the case. All people are not basically good. But narcissists have done a really, really good job of keeping their network and making sure that you don't find out that they're narcissists. You know something's wrong with these people. You know something ain't quite right. You can see the evil vindictiveness and the hateful malice they have. But they make sure that they all know exactly what the game is. They just want to make sure that you don't know what the game is. That way they can keep they playing this game for as many years out of your life as it needs to take to destroy you. This is the whole objective. And when you find out where they are, all hell breaks loose. Because not only do you find out who they are, you find out who was working with them the entire time. You find out who's on the team together, and nine times out of ten, they all narcissists together, and they, their whole assignment on this planet was to destroy you or people like you. And this, is, this goes on time after time. And see, the problem is, is that a lot of people who come out on the other side of this just want them to go away. But here's the secret, y'all. They are never going to go away. Because as long as you're breathing and they're breathing, their job is to destroy you. So they never tell their story. They never get it out there. They never tell people what to look out for. And this is a huge injustice to anybody else going through this. You need to tell your story because these people need to be called out on their junk. They need to be called out on it. And what they do is they try to intimidate. They try to keep you so disoriented by all these people trying to come in and out of your life that you are constantly in flight or flight mode. So you can't actually sit down, collect your thoughts, start putting together a, a strategy and coming out and exposing these people for who they are. Because they don't want that. Everything done in the dark wants to stay in the dark. The darkness needs to be dragged into the light so that it can be exposed for the wickedness it is. And so my, my advice, get yourself into a situation where you don't have to deal with these people. They're not in control of your finances, have access to your kids, or, or in any place that they have the upper hand against you, and then tell your story. Don't let nobody silence you. Don't let nobody silence you, because God didn't give us a spirit of fear. That comes from the enemy, their father. But we've been loyal to the wrong people. And once you make this realization and you get to the point where you're like, okay... Everybody ain't good people. Then you are truly free from all of this. And you don't care what they say. You don't care how they feel. Nobody cared about how you felt when they were doing what they were doing. So when you got your foot on their, on their neck, keep it on their neck. Keep it on their neck until you hear that larynx crush. But see, this is the thing, guys. You were always a benefit to them, but they were never a benefit to you. Have, if you really think about the relationships and these particular people that you have in your mind that might fall under this category and you're watching them and observing their behavior, if you think about the interaction they had with you during, during the time y'all were closest together, you were always more of a benefit to them than they were to you. They always came and seeked you out. You didn't really need anything from them. That's why they get so mad when you say no. No, my life is mine. You made your choices. You deal with them. Well, you're supposed to forgive. Yeah, you're supposed to forgive. But that don't mean you got to have access. You go your way and do what you're going to do. Because we all know you two steps from the gutter. We all know that with that kind of malice and, and evil intent, nothing good can come from that. You can't get good fruit from a bad seed. It's just that simple. That's why God, Jesus spoke in parables. Yahweh spoke in parables. Because if you look at it, from a worldly point of view, everything you do in this life is a seed. And if it's a negative seed, it's a bad seed. If it's a positive seed, it's a good seed. It's that simple. And these people have been going around spreading bad seeds. So 
They can't expect anything good to happen. But you have been planting good seeds. So if they can attach themselves to you, they can feed off of the crops, the crops that you get. Because they ain't getting nothing. They feel it's going to be barren. Dust balls flying over, dust balls flying by. There's nothing coming there. So they attach themselves to you because they know that when you harvest, you're going to get a lot, a lot of crops. So they attach themselves to you so that they can feed off of the work you did while they tell everybody they did it. They just want credit for something they didn't do so that they can feed off the benefits of you. They're parasitic in nature. That's what they are. And some of these narcissists, like there's different kinds. There's your covert, which is a cry me a river. Oh, the world is against me. I ain't got nothing. I'm pity, pity, pity. Which they all use that if they can't get their way. They will invoke sympathy out of other people to make themselves feel good. But then you got malignant, which is just basically the vilest of the vile. That's like right under a psychopath. That's right under a psychopath. The malignant is right under a psychopath. And that's what I was dealing with. But some of these people... It depends on what walk of life they're in. You know, you got stockbrokers, you got lawyers, you got police officers, you got people in governments, in the government, because it, they worship the, the God of this world. So nine times out of ten, they're psychopaths, which is why some police behave the way they behave. Um, but like a malignant narcissist, some of these people have multiple insurance policies on people. Yeah, they have multiple insurance policies on people. And eventually... Like any of those crime shows, they start to watch. Um, they got who's the beneficiary? Who's the beneficiary? Who's the beneficiary? They always trying to come up off of somebody else, somebody else's demise. Now, if they can't get you to off yourself, and they don't have enough access, or they too in the spotlight to kill you themselves, they will put you in situations where it can happen. So you have to be very mindful. Of who you hang around, where you go, who you tolerate, who you entertain, and who you do not. Be very, very mindful of that, especially if you done started exposing them. You need to be very, very careful. Check out your surroundings and know who's who. But a lot of these people have multiple insurance policies. And eventually, you know, they, go, they, they may be successful for 30, 40 years. But somebody's watching and saying, well, how come all these people died and... This one person sees to be getting all the money. How, would, how can they possibly be attached to so many deaths? It, it, it doesn't make sense. It's a little like, you know, once, maybe twice, maybe a coincidence. But more than that, come on now. And eventually, you know, the, this pe the streets are always watching. Somebody's paying attention somewhere. But you have to be, you, even the worst common, the worst thing you could think a person can do, do not put it past them. Do not put it past them. Because the only person you will believe in vulnerable is yourself. These people have these people have the capacity for anything. It's sad and sick, but it's true, guys. So be mindful of the people you have around them, y'all. But don't be loyal to the wrong people. They're going to talk trash about you, but who gives a damn? Let them do it. Let them do it. They have to get that vile shit out because that's all they, they their whole spirit is filled with darkness and ugliness. So they have to get it out. So let them say what they're going to say. Who cares, guys? This was my video, guys. I just wanted to talk to my chosen ones out there, guys. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, the Cash App information is down here. Dollar sign Anthony Young, capital A, capital Y, 1978, guys. But until I talk to you again, guys, peace.